In this video, I'll show you how to easily add a button into your WordPress website headers. So for example, if you come over to seedprod.com, we can see that we actually have a button here in our header. Sometimes these are just text links, but we're going to convert one or create one. And I'll show you how to do that using Seedprod, which is the quickest and easy way with our drag and drop WordPress website builder. So when you're on seedprod.com, let's go ahead and click on get Seedprod now and select the account that makes the most sense for you. I'm gonna be using the pro version in this video. Once you have an account, I'm gonna click on login. On the left-hand side here, let's click on the email address, add your email, your password, and click on login. Once you're logged into your account, let's click on the second tab from the left here called Downloads and click on Download Seedprod Pro. We also need the license key here in the bottom left hand corner. You can click that icon there to copy that to clipboard. You can go ahead and close this tab. Now I'm inside of the WordPress admin area and on the left hand side we have plugins and add new. At the top, let's go to upload plugin and we can drag this zip file right here and drop it on here. Or you can click on choose file and select the zip file that you just downloaded. Let's go ahead and install now and let's activate the plugin. Next, let's go ahead and paste that license key right here and we'll verify key and you should see a green success message. I'll go ahead and close this tab at the bottom. Great, now we're all ready to use Seedprod and on the left-hand side, we need something to work with. So let's go to the theme builder. Right now we just have the default WordPress theme here that we're working with. We wanna change this by going to the theme template kits here under the theme builder. Here we have all of these pre-made websites that we can import into Seedprod and into WordPress and this will give you a massive head start when building your website. I'll just scroll down the page here and we'll select one of these designs. Here's one for garden services. Let's try that and I'll import this by hitting the check mark. And there you go. You can see all of the theme template files were imported. And now we can just enable this seed prod theme right here by toggling this on to yes and clicking OK. Next, let's just refresh our page and make sure it worked. And there we go. We now have a fully functional website that you can easily modify in minutes. So what we're gonna do is add a button here in the top right corner. Let's go ahead and we're gonna modify the header template. So we can find that in our list here. We have header. Let's go ahead and click on edit design. Great, now we can see the seed prod page builder here so we can see all the blocks, the columns and rows and the section here. So we wanna have three columns here, a third one here for a button. So let's go ahead and just rebuild this quickly. Let's use this one here. And we can drag these blocks down into each section. Nice and quick and easy. And we want a third one here for a button. Let's go ahead and just get that button right in here. I'll search for the button block and I'll drag and drop that right here into the third one. Great. So now we need to fix the spacing here because it looks a little bit off. So the first thing we can do, we can click the resize columns here and I can just drag this over and we can bring this about there. And the same thing for our button over here. We don't need a ton of space for that. So we'll put it right about here. We're done with this section at the top so we can select that and hit the trash can to delete it. And there we go. Let's just fix some things up here. We need this centered. I think that would probably look better. So we'll select the nav menu and we'll change the alignment to a center. And we have our button here as well. Let's click on this and we'll align that to the right side. So it's up against the right. Great. Now you'll see that the alignment's a little bit off on the vertical side of things. So let's go ahead and select the whole row here. And if we come to the bottom of the content, we have vertical alignment and we can center that. So everything's perfectly aligned here in the middle. Next, let's go ahead and modify the button itself. So we have block settings for the button. And here you have the button text. We can change this to maybe order today. You have button subtext here. If it's a service, maybe it's a phone number, right? So you could put a phone number under there or maybe even an email if it's short enough or any text that you wanna put here. You also have the link. So this would go to your call of action page or your landing page, maybe your contact us page, whatever is most appropriate for you. So we could do forward slash order, and if this page doesn't exist, then of course you would go ahead and build that. We have the size of the button here. So we have small, medium, up to two times large. So it could be huge. I'll keep it a little bit smaller. Actually, I'll keep it around medium or maybe large. I think large looks fine. Let's minimize this. And we also have icons here that we can add. So you can add one before the text or you can add it after the text. Let's go with choose icon for after. And I'll just search for arrow and I'll have one pointing to the right. Great, I think that looks good. Let's come over to advanced here and I'll go to topography and we have the font size here. Let's just bring that down a bit so it fits inside and that looks great. We also have other options here for the line height, letter spacing, the style, alignment, and letter casing. We also have the button style here. So you have flat, 2D, vintage, ghost, link, and custom. And I kind of skipped over it, but we have templates here as well. So if you just want to click once here, it'll automatically update what your button looks like. So for example, we have a light green button here. If I click, you can see that that design instantly changes based on this one. Here's another green one as well, which I think looks good. And then of course you can come back to advanced and change all the options here. So I could change this to, for example, flat. 
Here you have all the vertical padding, the border radius, so that's the curvature on the button itself. I'll leave that around four where it was. We have a button border width, so you could add a little bit of a border and then change that color so you can see it. So maybe a light gray, and I'll bring that down a bit. For this one though, I think it looks best without any border. It does have a text shadow here. So you could add that on the text itself that's inside of the button, or you could add a shadow to the button itself. So you can see there's a little bit of shadow underneath there. Let's go ahead, I'll put that to none, and we'll minimize this. We also have spacing for the margin and the padding, so you can control all of that. We have the attributes, so there's automatically a CSS ID attached to that button, and you can use JavaScript or custom CSS to target that, or you can also add your own custom classes as well. We have device visibility. So for example, if you wanna hide this on mobile, you can turn this on and switch to mobile mode and you'll see that that button is grayed out. This allows you to control your mobile designs completely, or you can turn that back on and switch back to hide on desktop. Maybe you don't want it to show here. Great, and we also have the animation effects. So when the page loads, you could have it bounce in, swing, wobble. You have many, many different options here for zooming, rotating, etc. Once you're happy with everything, you go ahead and save this. And we can close this page. And we want to make sure that the header is appearing everywhere. So if we look, we have header and the conditions, and we can see that it's already appearing on the entire website. So we know that this will be updated everywhere. Let's go ahead and refresh our page. And there we go. We have our new header with our menu. And of course, our button that we can link to wherever we wish. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit seedprod.com and check out our documentation page. If you require extra technical help, please feel free to contact our support team. Hey everybody, this is Chris from SeedProd. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites and landing pages by using our drag and drop page builder.